Welcome to Introduction to Business uh, 111 online offered by Harper College. My name is Dr. George Machaki. This week we're going to be covering two chapters, Chapter 18, which is Financial Management, and Chapter 19, which is Security, both tied together. together. If you remember from last week's uh, real quick uh, YouTube, um, financial uh, finance is basically how do I acquire funds, uh, how do I eliminate debt, how do I uh, set up the company where it's financially sound. This is the uh, responsibility of a chief financial uh, uh, officer or CFO. So this week what we're going to do, we all are financial managers. If you look at it in a nutshell, we are uh, uh, our own personal lives. We acquire money to pay for the rent, for the school, uh, for books, for any, uh, for medical, anything we need. We have to see where's the money coming from. Do we take out a loan or do we pay off a loan? Uh, do we have extra cash? What do we do with that extra cash? In business, we call retained earning. How do we save to pay for something else going forward? Uh, a bond. I have bonds. That those, those are IIU, uh, IOUs that I owe. And those bonds, basically, uh, we put them in a sinking fund. So we put money now uh, creating, uh, utilizing compound interest or sort of like an annuity. And when the bond is due or when the uh, coupons or some of the interest I have to pay, I'm making interest maybe in another uh, uh, making more interest than what I'm uh, uh, required for my bondholders to uh, uh, for me to pay back to them so that's finance finance is how do I get money and keep money how to minimize uh, my debt to the government to my uh, suppliers and how do I imp in, in, improve my uh, overall performance of the company at the bottom line which is the finance okay so chapter 18 finance uh, uh, chief financial roles just going to talk about different roles that the chief finance does he's a credit manager he basically has to understand he or she has to understand accounting they manage taxes how to minimize taxes they basically do internal audits before the external auditor comes in to make sure the books are in line you don't want to wait to the year end when someone's auditing you find out oh geez I just got swindled or I lost so much money. You basically, as a finance man, every month you're reviewing, you're looking at the controls, you're looking at your budgets, how do I make the adjustments. So at the year end, we do have a good, uh, a very successful year that's bringing in profit for not only for your investors, but also for the owners. Okay, most, uh, most uh, companies, if you look at it when you're reading the chapters, most Businesses uh, fail, large or small, is because uh, under capitalization, they don't have enough money to start a project or a new project line. Uh, they have a cash flow problem. Look, if I don't have the money, even though I've got everything invested, I have money coming, but if I can't pay my bills now, if I can't do anything else, what will happen is basically my credit score goes down. My employees are upset because I'm not paying their wages, so they're leaving me. So all this uh, uh, has to do with do I have the right capital at the right time, and uh, I'm making assumptions that certain money is coming in from different streams of uh, uh, other uh, uh, revenue streams that I got coming in and so I have to make sure all this works out so when I can pay my own bills and also uh, be able to buy new uh, products as needed okay uh, financial planning so I was looking at forecasting that's one of the what do you call it uh, the forms you're gonna have is on forecasting on your own business uh, you know, they look at different titles, uh, how do I control, basically you look at your budget and your estimated amount, that's where a lot of the controls, and look at the last year, how much did I make last year, am I making more, am I making less, am I making less, uh, what was the outcome for that, okay, how do I obtain short term financing, I mean short term financing is less than a year, long term financing is more than a year, so short term finance could be promissory notes, credit, a line of credit factoring factoring is basically I have uh, accounts receivable coming to me but I have a cash flow problem so I sell those accounts receivable at a discount rate to somebody else so and we can see uh, that happening a lot of times on our own all of a sudden I've got uh, let's say Bank of America next thing instead of Bank of America Chase is basically saying hey send the payments to me because Bank of America sold your uh, mortgage note to me because they needed some cash flow same terms the same conditions just that I'm paying to somebody else uh, the payment so it improves my cash flow long-term financing if I need money uh, when I want to buy a, a home that's all long-term financing so how do I get long-term financing and businesses look at that do I take out a loan or do I bring in more partners you know whether it's debt uh, financing or equity financing okay and then again five C's of credit pertains to uh, the same thing we learned in personal credit okay so that takes care of chapter 18 now chapter 19 securities when you look at securities securities uh, basically covers any kind of financial uh, uh, instruments that we're looking at so securities could be bonds securities could be uh, 
what do you call stocks and how do I sell these securities on a, a open market or a, you know initial public offering and how does the secondary market uh, work so basically that's what I'm looking at securities is how do I acquire additional capital to improve my business to sustain my business through hard times or basically open up a new product line so you're gonna look at different types of bonds you have corporate bonds the bonds I will use the corporations because of their good name you have the good five uh, uh, C's of uh, credit and uh, uh, municipal bonds or US Treasury bonds they don't pay as much but, but they're secured municipal bonds a lot of times I can have a tax break where I don't have to pay any kind of taxes on the return on those uh, on the interest that they're paying uh, back to me you're going to talk about common stocks now common stock is basically I, I have a vote I am an owner indirectly but we learn in chapters of uh, five different forms of businesses but also you have you know look at the advantages or disadvantages of common stocks then you have preferred stocks and preferred stocks basically means I I give up something remember business if I'm giving you something I'm taking something away in business as always nothing is free in business I'm giving you an option or I'm changing some of the current terms of condition but what is the, the benefit for me so look at preferred stock okay look at the uh, different features of stocks you have par value limited order penny stocks uh, growth stocks versus uh, uh, income stocks you know do I and look at growth stock versus income stock do I invest in the stocks to make money as the stocks go Motorola stocks Apple stock is going up or do I invest in the utility stocks it may not go up but I get dividends coming back or do I invest in a company that plays dividends all the time just after earnings what's left uh, after uh, the company paid all of the expenses all its tax what's left it divides those earnings or those profits uh, in dividends to its shareholders or you know so, so some do that or do I wait on the secondary market when I basically sell my stock so if I look at those two uh, items am I buying a house just to uh, for investments so I don't get my money till I sell it or do I buy a two flat or a house that has a rental property on it so half of it I can't write off but then I'm still making some money so I'm getting when the property increases in value plus I'm also making a, a rent or somebody uh, paying me rent so it's an income property okay uh, warning that your broker is cheating some broken investment uh, look at the difference between risk yield duration liquidity those are all things that lets me know whether it's a stock or a bond uh, what are the terms and conditions on that measures of investments uh, what are mutual funds uh, and basically some online and uh, 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 sites I have I have a uh, Yahoo Finance uh, MSN money Forbes, Donald Jones, those are nice sites for you to, to look at. So those are the, the two chapters we're going to be covering today. Now on your form. You know, we're almost in. We're uh, coming to uh, week 12. We only have a few more weeks. I think uh, three or four more weeks. Business plan is due. Hopefully you're working on your business plan. So here's what you're doing in the form. On this week's form, you're going to state your business. And uh, you always tell your business, I'm going to be open up a hot dog stand. So when you respond to a question, other students within our network that are looking and reading uh, your post, they understand the business. So they understand, oh, this doesn't make sense for a hot dog stand. He's asking for $2 million. What's he asking for? Okay, so you're going to do that. You Gonna, I want, what I want you to do is part of finance is that you have to anticipate different money. So in your business, you know, you're already going to be creating the three statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, and uh, what do you call it, the uh, cash flow statement. But what I want to do, if you're doing it for a year, if you submitted it, it's not going to be each year. Look at your uh, bills now, your electric bills. Let's say your electric bills are not the same all year long. You have a general average. You know how much it's going to cost. But your summertime, when the electricity is, uh, uh, air conditioning is running, you pay more. But in the wintertime, when you're not using as much electricity uh, because of the air conditioning, you pay less, but you pay more in the gas. So what you have to do is on your, uh, on your business plan, on your cash flow, you're going to tell me which months you think you're going to have more expenses which months do you think you're going to have more uh, income coming in or revenue coming in look if I'm selling Christmas trees I'm just using that as an example I'm going to be selling more Christmas trees are uh, real Christmas trees for Christmas uh, uh, around Christmas time and the holidays are, uh, in December but I may also be selling the Christmas tree that's not a Christmas tree but it's called an evergreen tree or a pine tree during the year because this what I supplement my whole year I'm growing them some people may want to do it for planning may not be more where most of my money is coming from but so my income is lower 
uh, for eight months of the year and then when I started cutting down and getting them ready and started selling them to different distributors or retail shops that want to buy Christmas trees fresh cut and now my income you can see is going to go up my expense is going to go up because my transportation and more activities okay so that's the forum so uh, we're going to be covering two chapters start with making sure you're working on your business plan remember not too concerned about the numbers when you're creating your uh, in, uh, financial statements for your business plan I'm more concerned about the line items at this point okay so my name is dr george machaki we're covering chapters uh, 18 which is financial management and we all find uh, we are all financial managers anywhere uh just part of uh, living in every day's life only now we're going to take that role as a business financial manager um, a little more uh, numbers and then chapter 19 on securities securities is just a way where do i uh, get extra capital you know whether it's debt uh, uh, issue my bonds do I need an investment banker or if it's stocks do I still need an investment banker do I not, uh, sell my stocks okay so I'll see you in a forum one more uh, uh, easy forum uh, we're 20 points uh, looking at your own business developing your business plan and the finance and uh, we'll do well we're almost done a few more weeks and this class will be over and you have a nice business plan or at least the start of a business plan you understand how all the 20 chapters come together and you've really learned a lot on this online class more than you would anticipate you've uh, the forums and discussions is just as much learning as if you would be in a face-to-face -face class so again my name is dr george machaki this is introduction to business um, uh, uh, utilizing blackboard course management system uh, and I'll see you online. Bye.